Okay, hello there. Uh, we're going to try to quickly show how to create uh, FPS arms for Unreal out of a uh, normal uh, model, a what we call third-person model. So, right here is what we're going to be uh, going to be cutting up. I want to quickly jump over to what you'll need to do. Uh, here I have an Unreal project that I'm working in, and I have some characters here. I'm using uh, what, it's from the Elite Soldiers Pack that's found uh, you know, on the marketplace. So I'm going to be working on the SK full character O2. You could just, once you have this, you can turn around and go to Asset Ac Actions and hit Export uh, and go ahead and export it to a folder. I already have it, as you can see, exported here to this folder called FBX Exported from Unreal. So you just hit Save and then it would save it there. I'm going to cancel that. And then we can close this out. We oh, don't need to see that. And we're going to go back to here. Um, I've imported it, but what we're going to—I'm going to just quickly go new, general, I'll save, don't save. And this is what you'll normally get when you start with Blender. By the way, this is the newest uh, Blender, I think. I probably should Blender uh, about about and. Uh, License, does it say? No, I guess it doesn't. Sorry, it doesn't say which version. It is the most recent, though. So I'm going to go here, get rid of that, hit File, uh, hit Import, FBX, and then, of course, uh, go to where you've left it. I'm going to have SK full character 02, hit Import. Take a moment, he appears. We can scroll in, hit Shift, mouse middle button down to slide around, mouse middle button to Orbit, mouse to scroll in, and then shift again to kind of so, kind of get them lined up. Uh, we have a few things we don't need, so I want you to select camera. Go ahead and hit delete, and then hit light. Go ahead and hit delete, and then we're going to go into the actual character. Click down to the root here, and we'll turn uh, off that. I know you think the character should have been remove two but it isn't. Go ahead and select the character. Uh, we're going to go into edit mode. Okay. And of course it selects everything all at once. I'm going to hit the Z key just so we go to X-ray. Wireframe. And of course click somewhere else to deselect. There. This is going to be fairly quick. There's really not a whole lot we need to do. We're going to go in and uh, hit the control key with the Alt mouse button. I use left-handed, so I'm going to use the outer left button. So when I do this and I click the button, you'll see that we have a little selection tool, and we're going to start selecting stuff, and then just hit delete vertices. Yeah, pretty easy. And then shift again to recenter, move in a little bit. Shift again, recenter. Uh, so I can turn around and once again control, and then the Alt button. And then I can start coming through and just start selecting a whole bunch of stuff here that we don't need because this is all the torso. Select that, and then of course I'll hit delete vertices. So, for, uh, so I guess I can do that too. And then delete vertices. And now we're going to, this is more fine tuning. Now, we really, for all purposes, we really only need from maybe this part of the arm down. Uh, depending on how much you're showing of your arms, you might want to show more. For my purposes, um, literally, it's from the elbow you're seeing. You really don't see much higher than that. But that's up to you. Uh, so I can go here and just, once again, select the select around here, and then delete vertices, rotate around. See this here, again. And uh, really, this is tedious work, but it's on you. I want to do this. I'm not going to be really clean about it because you want to see the end result. So we control and then normal click, and then we can just click where to see there. That kind of clean that up a little bit. And then, of course, we got a couple uh, orphaned here. Uh, so I can just kind of go around here, click that, and then delete for a season. Really, for all purposes, there, we're, we're pretty. Oh no, we still got there. I got this little 
hanging thing here. We'll say hanging chad. Uh, let's go around like that. Select. And do I? Yeah. There. I think I kind of. Again, I, I think the. Well, actually, see there. I cut through there, so I probably should do the same thing over on the other side, just for come in like this, and then Hazan chop. And then there we go. And then delete vertices there. See, it's kind of it's not too bad. So that'll work. So these arms will work as they are. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next step. Um, by the way, there's another. If you need to put more bones, this is where the step where you put more bones in. We're not going to handle that right now. We're just going to get to the meat and bones. I'm going to select the root, and then oh, actually we can, for all purposes, can go back to solid there. And that way you can kind of see what it looks like. So go back up here, select root, then uh, shift, select that. So shift, shift, and then main mouse button select. Uh, we're going to go up here to file, and I'm going to hit export, FBX. We will select, I'm going to select the same location. Why? Because I can just hit this name, and then I can just add the uh, suffix arms. So it's going to make it clear when I import this in that it belongs to that character, although he spelled it wrong. Does the same thing I do. Char, oh, care, yeah, it should have been AC. I've done that to myself. I'm not going to condemn them for it. Um, and then over here, we, we have a few things we want to do, though. We want to select arm and then shift mesh. Hit that. We're going to go to geometry and switch smoothing to face. We're going to go to armature and remove add leaf bones. And that's that's it. We are now ready to actually export. So I'm going to export this. And now we can close this down, open this up. And I'm going to go into my arms. And as you can see, as you can see, I have already brought in uh, arms 03 and arms 04. So we're going to import. And we're going to do character arms 02. Hit open. And you can either bring them in with their own skeleton, or you can assign the skeleton you plan on using. Now, because all my characters are using a you know one uh, a skeleton, I'm going to pick that so they automatically will work. And mine are SK mannequin arm skeleton S SK mannequin. I probably could have just searched for it. Mannequin. Okay, now you also have several arms skeleton. But I'm using the one from the FPS M template, first-person shooter, so I will select that. And that's actually it. I'll just hit Import. Boink! And then it's in. I'm going to assign the texture to it right now. I'd open up another window. We're going to bring it in. So there it is. There's no textures assigned. So we're going to hunt down that texture. Materials. And this is uh, body 2, M body 2. So I'm going to select that right now. And then here I can just hit the arrow key to assign it. And there we go. We now have our textures assigned. And there we are. Um, I'm going to hit save. And right now, uh, you can end, you know, you don't need to see any further. Uh, I'm just going to verify that these arms actually do work. Uh, so I will first go to... Um, Actually, so uh, my uh, I have some fancy um, code that it, uh, does some pretty interesting things. So, child, um, when when my stuff starts up, I actually uh, assign the meshes when when uh, I spawn the player. So here we go. I'm going to there we go. Assign the material, and then I do have to change from child. Bear with me. First person arms. Um, so these are the different arms for the different classes. So we're going to spawn with class 0, which is the assault. So I'm going to change the arms real quick. So the first thing we do is we go to the arms. And this is here it is. Let's just select it real quick. Go in here, and then I can just assign those arms. So um, 
y here you can see there's different arms being assigned. So there we go. We'll hit compile, save, and let's fire this up. And we will see the arms uh, will spawn in place. You have to take my word for it that I'm not doing something else, some other magic. Come on. Come on. Fire up. This is a little game I'm working on. Um, fun stuff. Here we go. We're, we're spawning with the default assault class. So. And sure enough, we go out here and we can see this is see the arms and this is the darker texture that was uh, assigned. So there we go. Yes, it's looking pretty good. And that's how it's done. Um, and hopefully uh, you don't have any questions. You'll be able to go through this really quick. Thanks a lot. Bye.